When people see my work, they're always intrigued because it's watercolour, so I think that really draws them in to begin with. Sometimes I think with it being more abstract, they sometimes seem a bit confused or wonder what it is with all these crazy squiggly lines. And so it takes a bit to explain about bird song and about it representing calls and sounds. So I'm a fourth generation watercolour artist. My grandfather would carry a sketchbook with him every day and encourage all the family to draw every single day. My cousins and I would draw and learn from him and we would always go out sketching together and it was always a family filled with art and drawing all year. Watercolour feels just like an extension of my arm. It just flows so easily. I don't have to think about watercolour. I love the fact that watercolour has gone back through the generations of my family and connects my family so strongly. Um, and I, I hope that continues with, with one of my sons. <laughs> I grew up in England with a backyard that was woodland and it was filled with English birds and I found myself through painting the, the landscape over here that I'm drawn more and more to the sounds of birds. My two boys are high functioning autism and I think that's where I had that awareness of the, the sensory aspect of nature. I think that's where you know, I started to have more of an awareness of it. Maybe it's part of escaping from uh, everyday life. Maybe it's just being out in these beautiful spots where you feel like you're just in a really peaceful environment. So we're at Emi Mountain. What I find I start to do, especially at this time of the afternoon when the birds are starting to sing their evening song. I start recording them through either pencil, pencil line or masking fluid and whether that be long wide lines of them flying around or sitting up and calling and just noting down these calls through what looks like squiggly lines. Ultimately I'm bringing together all of the birds and their sounds and their movements in this one landscape. I feel so humble to paint on Kabi Kabi country as it offers so much diversity and inspiration for artists. So I'm at the Maruchi Regional Bushland Botanic Gardens today, which is one of my favourite places to work. Diversity of the birds is just amazing. I'm going to try and capture some of the Lewin's honey eaters that I'm hearing this morning. So creating an individual abstract painting for these birds, creating almost like a signature for that one specific bird or species. This is my studio. This is where I come to paint. This is where I find my inspiration. This is where I work best. <laughs> 